Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness with that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys, and I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So if you have any video requests or any questions, don't hesitate, man. Just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections, highly customizable to make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications just so you can have a widget or a section that doesn't make sense and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. Or I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the sections of videos I'm sharing, now that you be the judge, now respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add stylish and very professional scrolling the logos on your Shopify store and I challenge you if you can find this anywhere. I'm not talking about other YouTubers that copy my code and so on, I'm talking about like Shopify stores or Shopify teams that have this exact scrolly logos. And that's intriguing, right? Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with a completely new team, nothing on it, and each video I add small customizations. By the video 70 or 80, the team will be completely different. But now because it's a different chapter, I think I'll reach that level halfway or even less. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Facebook, Google, and Amazon and Etsy, all in one place and it's filterable. If I click on Facebook, only the reviews from Facebook as you can see. And or actually this, uh, this notification, sales notification on your Shopify store, it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, for who to show up to, on how long it stays open, and on the intervals between each notification. And it's clickable too, to the product that the customer bought. And this is all by using your own custom code, no applications involved. So make sure to check out the channel, man. But let me quit now. For now, let me show you actually what I'm talking about in this video, which is the scroller logos. So let me scroll down. By the way, everything I pass through this website, and once I scroll down, if you see any section that you liked or any widget that you like, the video for it is already posted. Because once it's here, that means it's already posted in one of my videos. I don't get, remove the sections, I keep them so people can see them. So again, if you saw anything, it's already on the channel. So let me scroll down to the one I'm talking about. This one here is, as you can see. This is Crowley logos, very professional. You can customize the color for it. You can set a, a font, a custom font for the heading. You can hide the heading if you don't want it. And you can actually control the speed, like how fast this carousel moves and the sizes and so on. And it has this a blur effect from the edges as you can see once they show up they, they, they are like fading away into the space or whatever I'm just joking so they fade on the edges of the page and that give you give them very cinematic and very professional look and you can customize this as well if you want to make it like larger or smaller just fade a little bit at the corners or you can disable this off if you don't like this just press a button and it's gone and all the customization are all inside the section. No code editing required, nothing like that. You can add up to 25 logos. I think that's more than enough, right? Without any more talking, let me show you how to add this now to customize it and so on. Because I actually already removed this section. So let me reload the page so you can see. Let me scroll down. Yeah, it's gone as you can see. It's not here. So let me show you how to add it, how to add the logos, how to customize them and every option that this section has. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously access Shopify dashboard. So let me access, oops, you see this one? <laughs> you know those pop-ups that once you're trying to leave the page or close the page, then they show up suddenly? That's exactly what you witness now. And this is by using your own custom code, and this is not any uh, pop-up, this is actually an abandoned cart pop-up that will remind the customers how many products exactly he added to the cart and it's actually triggered by the mouse cursor. It detects the mouse cursor once you're trying to leave the page or close the page, then it will show up. Because I was trying to hit over to the dashboard, then it did show up. As you can see, so it's unnatural here, it's all natural. So let me get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, if you are in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots or left to customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And then here on the left panel, you see this folder, it says sections right here. Simply click on it to be expanded, then click on the first one that it says add new section. 
click on it, then a pop-up will show up to name your section. And obviously, name it scrolling logos, scrolling dash logos, just like you see, and click on done. And by default, we'll create some code in here, simply remove the whole code, delete it. And in here, we need to paste the code, or we need to paste in the code for the section. In order to get the code, you need to hire a developer, pay. I'm just joking, scroll down the description box. And by the way, there is two versions for this section. There is the premium one and there is the free one. And the only difference between them is the options. Uh, the premium one has more customizable options. The free one does the job very perfectly and doesn't have those premium options. So wait until you see how the premium one looks like and the options it has and try the free one. If it suits your purpose, I'm happy for you. If not, hit over and get the premium one. For me, let me assume that you already got the premium one. Open the file with any text editor on your computer, then simply copy the whole code inside it, make sure to copy the whole thing, and then paste it in here. That's very simple, right? After that, click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds, it saved it. Now let's just get back to Shopify dashboard, and then we click on customize because we need to add the section. So simply click on customize, and it will take us to the team customizer. And in here, simply scroll down to the section where you want to add the logos. In my case, I'm going to add it in here. For example, let's just say here, click on add section, click on uh, uh, the search bar right here, then click on scroll, and you will see scroll your logos as you can see. But I will not add it for my case because it's already added. If I scroll down a little bit, here it is, as you can see, it's already added. You know, if I click on it, and it will show me all the options. So first, where to add the logos? Here, as you can see, on the left, stand, uh, the left panel, you see it says screen logos, this is logos. You can add up to 25, simply click on the last one, you see plus and add logo. Here it is, a new one, as you can see. And this one will be, it's actually a looped carousel. So if even if you add like three logos, it will keep looping them infinite loop. So you don't have to add like many more so you can fill out the space. There is no space. Even if you add one, it will loop them. So keep that in mind. For my case, let me remove this one. I will keep the same ones. And because it uses JavaScript, uh, anytime you did some uh, customization, you need to click on save button so they will show up. So let me get back to the first option. In here, it says our partners, which is the heading. If you want to disable the heading, simply click on this one. And if I click on save, it will show only the logos, as you can see, no heading. And I like it this way, actually. I'm gonna remove the heading. And this one is the custom font for the custom font URL for the heading. And I already showed how to do that. Simply download the file, any font you like, uh, upload it to your Shopify files, then copy the link for it, then simply paste it in here. Easy, right? And this one is the heading weight font. If you want it like bold, medium, uh, or semi bold, or regular. And below is the heading text transform. If you want it uppercase, if you like the text, if you set, for example, if you set like custom font, this can help you a lot. If you want to uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, in my case, I'm going to keep it long because I already disabled it. And this one is the font size for desktop and the mobile. So this is based on my subscribers. They always ask me how to do this on mobile, how to do this on desktop. So every section I share on my channel will always have uh, resizing options for mobile separately and for desktop separately. So you can set different sizes for mobile and desktop. And that's exactly what you saw right now. This is heading size for desktop, and this is heading size for the mobile. And below is the heading, heading color, sorry. And below is the heading letter spacing. Uh, for example, the letters, let me actually show you that what I'm talking about in here. Let me click on save again so the logos will show up because it uses JavaScript. That's why you need to click on save so you can see the changes. Uh, let me zoom out. So uh, what is it? Here it is, heading. So if I increase this, it will increase the spacing between the letters. If I decrease this, it will decrease the spacing between letters. And this one again is based on the font you used. In my case, I'm gonna keep it like this or more actually. Yeah, 3.5, it's good. Click on save, the logos will show up. Here it is. And below is the heading uh, padding top, which is the space above the heading. And this one is the heading pa padding follow. And this one space between the heading and the logos. You can adjust that as well. And below again is the logo row settings. As I said, you can customize the speed for it. For example, it's 80, as you can see, and I added here lower equals faster. So the lower this number is, the faster it will be. Let me, for example, uh, actually make it slower. Let me do 160. If I click on save, it will be very slow now. So let's just check out that. Here it is. As you can see, 
is very slow and it looks good I'm gonna keep it like this and below is the scroll direction if you want the direction to start from right to left or left to right if I did left to right click on save here it is as you can see it's reversed now in my case I'm gonna keep it opposite I like it that way yeah now it's good and below is the logo max height so this one is the if I increase this one it will increase the size as you can see much bigger now mm, I don't like it this way but I'm gonna keep it and as I said every option has the both desktop and mobile this one for desktop and this one for the mobile and this one the space between the logos you mean this space between each logo you can customize that using this option and again for desktop and this one for mobile and below is the logo section pad and top I mean the whole uh, section and this one is the logo section padding bottom and of course the section background color carousel background color and the fade color and this one actually is the section I mean not the the one that has the logos this one that has the text on it this one the color for it and below uh, the carousel is the one that has the logo in it and this is the color for it which is white as you can see and below is the fade color which is you see this fade as you can see where the they slowly fade into the edge of the page this is the color for it as well and if you want to disable because as I said you can disable the, the effect if I disable this and click on the save button it will be gone here is as you can see scrolling logos with no fade at the edges as you can see I like it this way I'm gonna enable this and also this is the fade area width so the smaller the percentage the smaller the fade will be I mean in width so the higher the percentage the bigger the fade will be so it will be more obvious in my case I like it as 40% which is perfect if I click on save it will not take too much of the page and it looks very good as you can see and below if you want to enable the option for uh, pause on scroll oh, sorry pause scrolling on hover if you hover with the mouse cursor it will stop moving if I enable this option I don't know if it works on team editor by the way yeah it works as you can see if I hover with the with the mouse cursor it stops as you can see and this is every option that this section has and as I said the free one will do the job just perfect if you need this extra settings head over and get the premium font and again this section will come with a comprehensive guide PDF file that will help you with every option as well as my personal contact if you need me or you need my help and also you can get my help just by dropping a comment so make sure to hit that like button because that's how you add scrolly logos highly customizable on your Shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one